Hi, Andy Miller, Director of Instruction here at Lead Direct Golf Club in Mountain, Pennsylvania. I'm going to take a, a couple of minutes to go over some of my favorite ball striking drills. Uh, we'll start with just checking face, uh, face impact. Where are you hitting on the club face? By far the most important thing when you're hitting solid shots. In fact, when you see tour players hit poor shots that go offline, uh, regardless of what those guys on television are saying, it's more than likely because they didn't hit it in the middle of the club face. So get yourself some face tape. Uh, I'm going to hit a shot here and then we'll take a look and see where I'm at. All right, so I caught it uh, maybe just a little bit low on the face, but pretty much in the middle. Uh, so that would be my favorite uh, drill to do. Use some uh, foot spray, use face tape, use dry erase marker. Uh, let's move on to the second one. Okay, so the second drill that we're gonna do today is gonna focus on where we hit the ground when we make contact with the ground. So the elite golfers are hitting the ground at the ball, slightly in front of the ball. Uh, your higher handicap golfers are gonna hit quite a bit farther behind that. So I've, I've scratched a line in the turf here, just with an alignment stick. And what I'm gonna do is hit a shot and I'm gonna take a look and see where I hit the line. If you struggle hitting the line, if you're hitting behind it consistently, do it without a ball first, do it with smaller swings first, Work yourself up to where you can do it with a ball off the line with a full swing. So let's take a look here. Okay, so here you can see my divot on the left side of that line. Uh, I come into the ball a little bit shallow, so I don't take a huge divot, but you can see that my club struck the ground at the line. Uh, and the bottom of my swing slightly in front of the line. So that would be a desirable result when you're doing this drill. So the third ball striking drill that we're gonna do involves face angle at impact. So where your club's pointed when you make contact with the ball is pretty much responsible for where your ball starts. So one of the things that all really good players have in common is that they all start the ball where they wanna start it. Not always gonna be at their target because they're gonna play curves, you know, they're gonna draw it, they're gonna fade it. Uh, but they're always going to start it where they want to start it. Uh, so the drill that you can do to, to practice this is just put two alignment sticks out there. Uh, they can be at your choice of how far away from the ball you want. It depends on skill level. And the width of them also is dependent on skill level. I would say, uh, obviously, the better you are, the closer together you'd move them and the farther back you'd move them. Uh, the success rate should be, be between probably 3 and 7 out of 10. So let's say, you know, I do it with the sticks at this distance apart and I only get two of them in there. Well, I probably need to make it a little bit wider. Or if I get more than seven, let's say I do this drill and I get all 10 in there, then I need to make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, if we wanna keep advancing our skill set, we need to keep challenging ourselves and keep making the drills continuously harder so they match our skill level. So I'm gonna hit a shot, try to hit it between the sticks. pretty good. So work on these three drills. Uh, if you do them consistently with some measurable results, uh, I guarantee